It's a global race to find a vaccine for COVID-19, and one country is accused of trying to cheat. The UK's National Cybersecurity Centre says Russian hackers known as APT29, the Dukes or Cozy Bear, have tried to infiltrate coronavirus facilities to steal their work. Britain, the US and Canada, whose research into possible vaccines is quickly advancing, have all been targeted. To be targeting uh, with cyber attacks the international effort, not just here in the UK, but in Canada, in the US, to try and find a vaccine, which is for the greater good of the world as well as our people here at home. And I think it's absolutely right that we call it out in this measured way with our international partners. The hackers are believed to operate as part of the Russian intelligence service, allegations that Russia strongly denies. The UK government says the hackers are using phishing and malware in their attacks, and they've supplied coding instructions so organisations can protect themselves. This latest attack comes as the UK reveals Russian hackers also interfered in the country's general election last year by trying to spread and amplify leaked documents online. A criminal investigation is going on, but at this stage it would be inappropriate for us to say something Britain has said. The statement is so vague and controversial that it's almost impossible to understand. If it's inappropriate to say it, then do not say it. If you do, then illustrate the facts. There's also evidence of meddling in the 2016 Brexit vote and the election that followed a year later. The government says it will finally release the report with details next week. Four high-level attacks in four years, but security experts say they're not surprised. What has changed is that Vladimir Putin, starting about 2013, uh, uh, changed his uh, policy and, and uh, ordered the intelligence services to engage in a more systematic, aggressive series of actions to destabilize elections and to um, disrupt uh, Russia's rivals, uh, which is the European Union, NATO, the United Kingdom, France, the United States. They also say that vaccine development is a priority target for intelligence agencies, and Russia wouldn't be the only state involved. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera.